What's going on, baby? One time free concert Friday performer in our yes, green room. Remember yes, that? Sir. I do remember that. Man, we got an email the other day from your record company with the new single on it. And mm-hmm. Of course, we've been following you all along, and I, I opened up that email, listened to that single. I listened to it three times, over again, two more times. Really? It's unlike almost anything I've ever heard you do before. You know what? That's it's. Uh, I'm in a different place these days, man. You know, I mean, it's. Uh, I uh, was with Lyric Street Records for many years, and they folded, and so I found myself without a record deal. So I've been off the radio for a minute. So I had to go back to the drawing board, and and go back to my bread and butter, which is writing and crafting a great song, and 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 that's what I did. I sat in my my, my my place for for almost a year and a half and wrote and wrote and wrote, tried to write the best stuff I could possibly write. And went and produced this new album and did, wrote everything on it, and it's uh, to me it's it's stronger than the first album and, and the music is it's there this time. So that's we're saying excited. a lot because I loved your first album, but how, you, you know Pat. how frustrating is that because it's hard enough to get your first record deal, let man, alone have man, the label full what, shop I mean, and you got to find another once, one. Once once the first one's gone, it's almost like you're tainted goods. I mean, really, and it's hard for, to somebody take another chance on you when the, in reality it wasn't that my career had went away. It's just the label went away. You know what I mean? Right. But it's hard for them to piece that, put that together. They think, well, it didn't work. Well, no, it did. It, it, it was working. We had three hits back to back. You know, and so it was it was tough for me, man. You know, and so we're just I had to go back and just go, okay, take a breather. Let's do what what I did when I first came to town. Was just write the best songs I could, and uh, you know, and get it done. Did and it, we did. It would have probably given me thought, and obviously it did for you. To kind of do a little self-evaluation, and I did moving for sure. forward. I mean, spiritually, everything. I mean, and and you know, uh, I'm healthier than I've ever been. I feel better. Than I've ever, I mean, I'm writing better songs, and and uh, this music. I promise you, man, it's the best music I've ever done in my life, and and I'm so proud of. I'm, I'm proud that Skyville Records took a chance on it, and we're back on the radio again. Thank goodness. Well, it's a powerful song. I Thank mean, you. it's a love song. It's a ballad that it yeah. it. it Gave me goosebumps. Well, when I it's, heard it's it. called "Man Without a Woman," and and, and the, the the first verse is is, is a, actually a true story. I went to the to the uh, kitchen, uh, opened up the icebox to get the milk out to make me a bowl of cereal. When I was 25 years old, and the milk was sour. I'd, it's been in there for a long time, and and I was a broke songwriter, so I did the only thing that most people would do. I just poured water on the frosted flakes, and I. <laughs> <ate it. laughs> I was so hungry, but it was, so, it was such a vivid memory of mine. I thought, I thought, you know what? I need to, I need to, I need to somehow figure that out. And so, uh, and that's that's what the whole first first verse is about. And to me, it's a man without a woman in his life. You know, to, to throw out the soured milk yeah. because we'll let it sit there. I know I will. And I'll put, uh, an, I'll put an empty milk right. back in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm afraid to open that sucker yeah. when you know it's bad because you know what it Absolutely. smells like. So you know, and it's kind of one of those deals, man. And and, and so I, I started with with that scenario. Then I went to another scenario with a guy who's married. Married, whose wife goes away to take care of mama when she's sick, and you know it takes him about two hours to completely trash the house, and the bed's been made, and and so it's it's a really big record, I think, and we'll, and hopefully we'll have a big hit with it. Well, listen, man, we wish you the best of luck. It's good catching up with Thank you, you again. You look it. good. I appreciate it. Thank you really you. do. I like that hat. You do? I do. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's been asking me where to get one. You got to go out to Cool Springs in Nashville and take a ride and go to this place called The Lids, and they got them. <laughs> the Lids. It's Trent Tomlinson back on the radio on 92.3 WCOL.